So what is Lexa? Lexa is an RPG LE framework for REST API development and security that runs natively on IBM I. It has automation to accelerate development and deployment of REST services. Because it's RPG LE, it integrates with the existing skills and development methodologies. As an IBM I native technology, it also harnesses the full capability of the platform. Lexa handles all of the complicated API logic, so it simplifies the development of even the most complex and sophisticated REST APIs. Native means that IBM I job and process controls can be used to truly scale, a common hindrance in traditional IBM I integration solutions. Lexa also has a hybrid cloud solution called Lexa Accelerator that provides tools for automation and administration of REST API development. With Lexa, you only code the logic you need for the business requirement. Your API code has business logic, II code, calls to existing or legacy code, and uses a callback architecture to extend any part of the Lexa framework. The Lexa framework contains all of the complicated parsing, conversion, and communications logic. And your API can seamlessly and natively integrate with any and all of your legacy applications and data. Let's see how we build a reasonably sophisticated REST API using the Lexa framework and RPG. Here is a typical piece of JSON for a mobile app requirement. Let's build a REST API in RPG that accepts this JSON and writes the data to the IBM I database. While there isn't much data in this JSON body, it is reasonably complicated with multiple levels of objects. The stock object is made up of an array of stock items, and per item, the sizes and color objects are embedded arrays of data. This type of data is most common in REST web and mobile development and is often referred to as structured JSON. We built this by adding about 100 lines of structured RPG and SQL to Alexa RPG code template, compiled it into a single program and called it directly via the IWS on IBM I. There was no performance hungry and complicated middleware, no database drivers, no convoluted configuration per program or each time it was recompiled. Just RPG, SQL and a compiler. The standard Lexa template used here included all the necessary Lexa framework binding directories and copybooks by default. This makes a rich set of powerful functions available to the RPG developer to build REST services and RPG service consumers quickly and easily. The variables, arrays and data structures were added to the program based upon the JSON data schema. In the background, the Lexa framework takes care of DOM and event parsing of the JSON and conversion to UTF-8 from EPSIDIC and vice versa. In the REST service itself, built-in Lexa functions monitor for JSON events, such as the start of the JSON document, the start of an object within the JSON document, the end of an object, the next object in the structure, or the document, the start or end of an array. The background parsing allows Lexa RPG functions to be used directly on JSON DOM objects, such as the stock object, or lower level objects, such as sizes and colors that are within the stock item object. This elegant approach makes it simple to program highly structured and complex JSON directly in structured RPG. Here, we are using the Lexa built-in JGET function to assign the data directly from JSON body elements to RPG variables. This elegant feature works on even the most convoluted and complex JSON or XML. Using the JGET function again, we are pulling the item code value from within the JSON body to be used as the data file key for a database record update using SQL. Lexa brings REST JSON and RPG together in a very natural way for an RPG programmer. A condition is set by the status of the SQL update and an LXR function is used to dynamically set the HTTP header status field, which is added to the JSON response. Another example of how Lexa simplifies integration between HTTP REST and RPG. Now I'm going to compile the program we've just created from the Lexa REST template. I'm compiling it into a library that I've got mapped to the internal web server on the IBM I.
I am going to test the REST service we've just created using the popular testing tool, SOAP UI. I am using the POST method in the REST service. The endpoint is the address of the Apache Web Server instance on IBMI. I can use the same host or endpoint for all future REST APIs that I create. The REST resource is the library and the REST service we just compiled. Finally, we add the structured JSON body to the request definition and submit the request. The JSON response we programmed into the REST service earlier tells me the record has been added to the database. The REST service also sent back the amended response header field we added to our program logic. Here we can see two records that were added to the database by the REST service we just created. So to summarize, we copied Alexa RPG code template, added about 100 lines of structured RPG and SQL, compiled it into a single program, and tested it directly from SOAP UI. The service creation process can even be automated with Lexa Accelerator using Swagger definitions. See the video list at the end for a demonstration. From an IT perspective, the REST standard has four main components in play. The definition, usually an open API or Swagger. The service itself, which is called or consumer, which does the calling. REST data can be XML, but it's primarily JSON. And security, multiple approaches, but usually including SSL and OAuth and tokens of some type. Lexa has features and functions that cover all of these REST components. Lexa was purpose-built to optimize IBM I REST API development, seamlessly integrate API governance and security, and make continuous delivery possible. To learn more or watch more videos about REST APIs using Lexa, go to restfori.com or see the description below for more links if you're watching this video on YouTube.